hello everybody welcome back to a new video and i have another haul for you guys today this was originally just going to be a book haul but i got a couple of manga volumes so i decided to add it with this haul as well i know i've been putting a lot of hauls out lately and honestly i don't like doing that because it just gets kind of repetitive but my school semester is ending soon and i plan to film a bunch of videos hopefully before my fall semester starts at the end of the month because I definitely want to film a monthly favorites video, but also a recommendations video. Especially because I've read a lot of manga since the last recommendations video I did. There's just a lot of manga I need to talk about. And also apparently now books because I'm into that now. I was very into books when I was in high school because I read To Kill a Mockingbird for the first time in high school. And I think that's like what really it triggered my joy of reading in general, I would say. It was also during high school when I started reading manga as well. So I got some books and some manga volumes here. And we're going to start off with manga. As you guys can see here, I got more volumes of Rio. I got volumes 4, 5, 6, and 7. I mentioned in my last video that Rio is possibly my favorite manga I've read this entire year. Yeah, it's that good. And you know, I feel like I had an idea and other people also have an idea of what the story is about. But I truly actually didn't know. I thought it was just a sports manga and it revolved around basketball. It's so much more than that. It's like kind of crazy. I don't want to give too much context because I'm going to be talking about it in my monthly favorites, but also in my recommendations video. So I'll talk about it more in depth there. But to give you a little bit of the gist of what this manga is about, we follow the lives of three teenagers during their late teens. They're like 18, 19, about to be 20. And we follow past experiences and see how those events kind of shape or how they basically lead up to events that are happening in the present time or in their present time. One thing this manga and free run have uh, similarities in is that they have the present time but they also jump back to the past and then they jump back to the present. And let me just say, some of these past experiences that these characters have had are very heartbreaking and heart-wrenching. By the time you guys are seeing this, I already read the fourth and fifth volume, and the fourth volume just made me bald. It was so sad. The things that this character went through, oh my god, it was it was so sad. And in, in the present time, there's also things that happen to a certain character that is a complete tragedy and oh my god it, it's just it's so good it's so good it's not just about basketball yes there's basketball in it but it is I, I don't know if i would really consider it a sports manga if i'm being honest but it does have basketball so it kind of is but not in the traditional way as let's say slam dunk or haikyuu or kuroko's basketball not in that traditional way i don't know if it'll change a little bit in the upcoming volumes because it's kind of leading up to that but we'll see we'll see but i'll talk about it more in my upcoming videos so moving away a little bit from manga and moving on to some of the books i got i have my first package here of books and first off i have twisted love i think this is like a dark romance i'm not sure but it honestly kind of sounds like it and the way I kind of categorize if a book is long or like a short read, if it's shorter than 400 or maybe like even 500 pages, I consider it like a pretty fast and short read. If it's more than 600, okay, that's a pretty lengthy read. We also have here Before the Coffee Gets Cold. And this is also a bit of a short read. I believe it's like 300, 400, less like than 400 pages. I have no idea what Before the Coffee Gets Cold is about, but I saw it in a lot of like recommendations so hopefully it's a good read we're gonna move on to some more books over here and by the way thank you guys for recommending books i didn't get all of them but i will be picking some of them up from the library soon i put them on like a hold and i'm just waiting for them to tell me they're ready for pickup and then in this package we have the song of achilles i think that's how you say it so I've heard a lot about this book. I don't really know what it is about still, but I saw this girl on TikTok. She was like talking about how people were overreacting about it, that this like book wasn't sad or anything like that. And I think in an hour in, she was like bawling her eyes out. She's like, I was not ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> and i just thought it was so funny i want to read it i want to see what's happening i want to cry hopefully we get it and then here we have another dark romance i want to say it's called the haunting of adeline and like i said this is like a dark romance it's giving yandere vibes and i'm here for it you know 
I think I heard somebody say that the way this romance kind of works is that there is the male lead and then there's the female lead the female lead doesn't really want to do anything with him or kind of like wants to like drift away from him and i guess like the way the male lead shows his affection towards the female lead is that i, I think there's a part in the book where the male lead gifts the female lead fingers of somebody who has wronged her in the past and i'm like whoa that is intense i need to know i need to know what happens like i need to know like what led up to that <laughs> how did they wrong her <laughs> so yes like i said it's giving yandere vibes so i'm here for it next up i have the love hypothesis so i already read this one i loaned it from the library recently and i enjoyed it i actually really liked it it was a pretty short read as well and so i decided to just buy it so i could own it as well this version has like a bonus chapter from adam's point of view which is the male lead the premise of this story is basically about this these two university students and how they kind of enter this fake relationship and how they're you know they kind of get intimate you guys already know where this is going speaking of intimacy you guys i was not ready for chapter 16 i was literally floored and then to add on top of that the bonus chapter like i've read smut before like in manga but i don't think i've ever read it in book form so just seeing it be like so descriptive i was like oh my god where is the holy water and then moving on we also have twisted games so this is from the same author of twisted loves it says book two but i don't know if um you know if it can be a standalone or if it's actually a continuation and this one is a bit longer than twisted love so we'll see we'll see so moving on to the next books i have here i've actually loaned them from the library and first off i have king of greed which is a standalone at least that's what my girl ashley said she recommended these two books i have here she recommended this book and another book i'm about to talk about in a bit and she was saying how she really enjoyed this book i think it's like about a, like a contract marriage but then they separate male lead wants to get the female lead at any cost you know i don't know if it's a dark romance but you know i don't really care honestly and i believe it is part of a trilogy but she did mention that it could be read as a standalone she also recommended bride which is i believe about werewolves and vampires you guys already know i'm here for it and then we're gonna drift back a little bit to some manga i have volume 9 of shuguchara there's nothing really to say about here i'm getting closer to finishing um up my collection for this moving on i have volume 4 of hi i'm a witch and my crush asked me to make a love potion you guys already know i love this manga this was actually one of my favorite mangas of last year and i'm just so happy we finally got the fourth volume because the releases for this manga are very slow it's based off on light novel i read the light novel a while back so i kind of know what's going to happen already but if i'm being honest i kind of secretly wish they would also license the light novel the manga is still very good i enjoyed it i love the character design you guys already know i'm obsessed with this it's just a cute story and we had some new developments in this volume okay last but not least i actually found volume 12 of the sailor moon i mentioned in my last video that i i had it and i didn't know where i left it but i have it right here let me open this right here real quick and this is actually a used copy because i can't find it new anywhere else i think this version is out of print or they just haven't been printing them as frequently because the newer versions are coming now like the eternal versions which are beautiful but you know i just wanted to complete the version i had and with this one i finally finished completing it it was hard to find but this one was not at a bad price it, i think i like paid 12 dollars 13 dollars for it but it was because of shipping so I got a pretty good deal on it. Yes, it has some scuffs, but I'm just happy I finally have it and I completed the collection. Oh, by the way, guys. So I also have an Instagram and a TikTok. I'll put them in the description so you guys can follow if you guys want to follow me. I always forget to tell you guys this. I think this is the first time since I opened my Instagram account and my TikTok that I've let you guys know. I haven't posted anything on Insta, but I'll probably change that soon. And it probably won't just be manga and books. It'll probably be like daily stuff. 
you know, like if I go to Disneyland or if I go shopping, whatever. And for TikTok, I actually post there before I post here on YouTube. So sometimes you guys will see snippets of things on TikTok before YouTube. If you guys are interested in that, then I think TikTok is the best place to follow. And then follow my Instagram if you guys want to follow me on the daily, I guess. But I haven't posted anything there yet. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for this haul. I'll see you guys in my next video, which will probably be either my monthly favorites or a recommendations video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!